Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by for this third uh, episode or edition. This last video is a video um, that is focused on the gifts that we will be giving our bridal party and um, like the party favors and just gifts in general. So let's get started. First I'm going to talk about what we purchased for the children of our bridal party. There are a total of six of them. There are three girls and three boys. One of the last things that I have to buy as a gift is for the flower girls. And I just am going to buy, try and find like a coral or peachy colored necklace, matching necklace for all of them to wear. Um, and I really wish I had that to show, but unfortunately procrastination is the worst and I don't have that. That will be included in their gift. And then also the girls are each getting a little tiny bouquet of these coral flowers. I bought these at um, Michael's and it's just kind of like a little cutesy thing to stick in their bag to add a touch of the wedding colors in there. They're also getting these tiny bird houses. Um, this one is actually for one of the boys, but I got the girls all something different. They're all sisters. So um, I tried to find ones that kind of match their personalities. Uh, for example, one of the girls really likes like barnyard animals and horses. So I found her like a barnyard. And then um, for the oldest sister, I got one that has this really cute heart in it and it is actually the tallest one out of the three. And then I love this little picket fence. Um, and then for the youngest sister, I got this one, and it's kind of like a smaller version of this, except it doesn't have the cute picket fence, but it does have like a little heart um, in the center. Of so these were really inexpensive from Michaels, um, and I think that they're gonna really have a lot of fun painting these. I did also get a set of paint. Here is the boys' version of. It is much more like simple and I would say masculine than the three versions that I got for the girls. So all the boys will be getting this. They will also be getting two sets of this paint and it is a washable paint, um, non-toxic and it comes with some really cute colors. And then they will also be getting a paintbrush, each one of them. And so I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to get them. Um, but I figured they will have fun with this, with these, painting these and personalizing them. And then I also got a set of hangers for their dresses. Um, this I purchased from Meyer, and it comes with like an ivory, a peach, a um, mint color, and a gray. And so these three, um, the ivory, peach, and gray will be going to the girls, and then this uh, mint color will be going for going to my son. And the colors that the girls are getting are our wedding colors, pretty much. So it worked out really, really nicely. And then each of the boys will be getting this really cute um, coral bow tie, and these were purchased from Etsy and super cute and it's something that they can keep then um, I know I will definitely treasure my sons and then also for the boys we found these cufflinks I purchased these from Amazon and they are really really nice quality and I just got the initial for each of the boys And originally, um, we went to a store to buy these and they were so expensive. They were about $40. And so then my fiance started looking online and he wanted to buy them all like superhero cufflinks. Uh, but I was kind of thinking that if we could find ones that are a little bit more sophisticated, maybe they could use these um, longer in their life rather than like having superhero ones. So I found these on Amazon. I think they were only $6 with free two day shipping. So awesome deal I think. Um, and the quality is really nice. They each come in their own little like bag. And I hope that the boys of the wedding party will be able to get use out of these and um, kind of use them as keepsakes. Matt found these on sale at Target. They are a Chicago Bears bracelet in both navy and orange. So these will, I think his plan was to give blue and orange to each of the boys, but maybe he was planning on giving orange to the boys and blue to the girls, I'm not really sure. So I'll have to check with him. But they are just a really inexpensive and cute little 
thing to add to their bags. And then the last thing that we got for each of the children of the bridal party are these wooden letters. And I love these, they're so like rustic looking. And of course that is something that I'm just always attracted to. First letter of each of the children's names. And then on the back here, we're just gonna write a quick little note on each of the children's uh, letters and just thank them for being a part of our big day. I'm hoping that this all turns out good, but I am really confident that uh, there will be some like sentimental aspects of their gifts, which are the letters and the cufflinks and hopefully the necklaces that I will be getting today. And then there's also like more of a kid part of the gift. Um, and so I'm hoping that they all have fun painting their little birdhouses and then enjoying their other gifts for years to come. All right, moving on to the bridesmaids of the bridal party and the maid of honor and my mom and Matt's mom. So the first thing that I know I've already shown are these mugs. I got one for each of them and I obviously got these from Target's dollar section, but I got the pink version and the like minty colored version. And then I also got them personalized hangers. Um, these are wooden white hangers. They say the name of the um, person and then the wedding date. So this one is my mom's. And then I have them for the bridesmaids. So here is all of them. I also got one for Matt and I uh, from the same Etsy shop owner and this one is covered in rhinestones and it says Mrs. Schaefer in a rose gold um, wire. And then for my fiance Matt I got him this one Mr. Schaefer and it's black and it's just got like a row of black rhinestones. Very masculine. And then for each of the girls and our mothers, we got these little rose gold knotted bracelets. And they are adjustable. They are super pretty, very feminine looking. I like what they symbolize. I hope that they're good quality and they won't like tarnish. But they have two um, knots that are connected in the middle. And so it's very symbolic, I think. But I will be asking all of them to wear these. And so we'll all, the seven of us, will all be matching with our bracelets. And then the next item that I'll be giving the girls is another, like, inexpensive one. But um, there are two hair ties, and it says, Thank you for helping me tie the knot. And I picked a, like, really pretty blush color and a white with gold, like, sparkly dots. So these I purchased from Etsy as well, um, along with the bracelets that I just previously showed. I don't know if I mentioned that they came from Etsy. And the next or the last item I think that is for the bridesmaids are these little earrings and they come in these really really cute thank you boxes and I was able to personalize each of these. Um, there's like a little note inside and so um, here's what the box looks like and then you open it up and here are the earrings and here's the little note that you're able to write right underneath here earrings are really really pretty they're very sparkly um, they look like they're really good quality so I hope they are and then I also wrote a little like thank you letter to each of the bridesmaids just like telling them how grateful I am that they were a part of such a big day. And um, so that will be in their gift bag as well. And I think that's it for the bridesmaids. And then here's what each of the groomsmen and best men will be getting. There are two best men. Um, and so this one is one that my fiance got for himself because he did not want to be the only one without one. But it is w pretty much a like whiskey canister. I'm not sure what exactly these are called, but a drink canister. And then they're personalized with, um, we did the last names of 
each of the groomsmen. Um, we did have the option of doing like writing best man or groomsman on there, but I wanted to try and stay away from that as much as I could just because I do want these gifts to be able to be used for years and not like put, you know, put away because they were for a wedding that someone was a part of and I mean, even though they're special to us and the day is special to all of them, I didn't want them to have to always have out like groomsmen. Um, I think that they would just enjoy their last name um, alone rather than what their title was in the wedding, if that makes sense. So we did get the last name. So here is Matt's and the one that we will be keeping in the man cave. And then each of those um, like containers come with two glasses and they say the same thing, the same last names. So here is the set and we will just be wrapping this in some like tissue paper and sticking it in a bag as well. And then the last thing that each of the guys are getting are these man cards and they are like credit card size, perfect size to slip in your wallet. They are really good quality. They're super heavy and they seem very durable. So they will be getting one of these and it's just like a little bottle opener that they can always carry on them. And then the last gifts that we will be giving are our party favors and we got these like drink coolers or koozies. Um, holders. I'm not sure. I think there's a few different names for these, but you know what they are. Um, they just go around a beer can or beer bottle or drink. Um, and we got the personalized. These came from Etsy as well, as well as the two groomsmen, um, gifts that I showed. The, all of the stuff came from Etsy. Most of the stuff all came from Etsy. So like I said, if you have any questions on what Etsy shop, um, sells these or where you can find these just let me know in the comments and I will send a direct uh, link to the exact Etsy shop that these items were purchased at. Um, here are the party favors. I got four different colors and they all say the same thing. Um, so this one is like in a blush rose color and it says Matthew and Deanna with our wedding date 5716. And then on this other side, it says to have and to hold and to keep your drink cold. So this um, originally said to keep your beer cold, but I was able to um, ask the uh, owner of this Etsy shop if she can change it to drink and she could. So I just think that it will fit more uh, people who don't drink beer. So I got the blush pink color a like peachy corally color, a light gray, a taupe. I love how these four colors go together. All right, and then really quick, I almost forgot to mention, these are the gifts that Matt and I got for each other. I don't know what he got for me yet. Um, these ones are mine, they say, um, and then this one is his. And I got him some Beats, uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones, the ones that are like huge. Um, and he's been wanting those for quite a long time. So I bought these for him and he bought two things for me, which I'm very excited to open up and find out what's in here. But we did do all of our shopping for each other through Von Mars website. But like I said in my wedding day essentials video, the one that was right before this one, Von Mar has excellent customer service and a really great overall shopping experience. So um, they give the option for free gift wrap and a free little card that comes with it, which I think is just really awesome. So these arrived all wrapped up and ready to go. I will try and mention what were in these boxes in a video once the wedding is over. And so that about does it for this video and it is the last video of this series. If you have any questions on any of these, just let me know. I would be happy to answer anything that you guys have to ask about any of these. I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not subscribed, 
subscribe to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I would really appreciate it. I probably won't be filming again until after the wedding, which sounds crazy, but I am so excited to get back into that filming routine and I am so excited for the wedding and to share with you guys as much as I can. Um, thank you guys for taking this journey with me in planning my wedding. It has been really fun to share my thoughts and my experiences and all of the things that I bought and things that I've done for the wedding. So thank you guys so much for all of the support and love and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.